Lots of new movies opening this weekend. Let's get to it. Will Smith is literally his own worst enemy in the sci-fi thriller Gemini Man from director Ang Lee. This movie is getting a lot of attention for how it uses computer-generated effects to pit a young Will Smith against an older, modern-day Will Smith. I can say that the exercise is rendered useless, as no amount of Will Smiths would be enough to escape this incredibly disappointing and lame story that these characters find themselves in. The plot's contrived, the dialogue is nearly as artificial as the young Will Smith, and at no time does Ang Lee make this story feel cool or new, as it should be with such a supposed groundbreaking new way to render effects. This technology, by the way, was on much better display earlier in the year in Alita Battle Angel, and will also be used in the upcoming Martin Scorsese film, The Irishman, with appearances from a much younger looking Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Yes, Gemini Man is a fraud, a clone of other, better movies, and not worth even a single glance, let alone a double take. I give it a C-. In select theaters this weekend and available on Netflix as of October 25th, is the hilarious, uplifting, and feel-good R-rated comedy of the year, Dolomite Is My Name. This film soared out of the Toronto Film Festival and garnered all sorts of attention and momentum, which led Netflix to release the film theatrically in more markets than it intended, like Detroit. Eddie Murphy is absolutely electric as Rudy Ray Moore, the opportune hustler who created the persona of one Dolomite and proceeded against all odds to bring the character to the big screen. Murphy chews the scenery and reminds us that he's one of Hollywood's greatest stars, even if he has sort of been off the radar in recent years. But it's not his show alone. With a stellar supporting cast around him, including Keegan-Michael Key, Craig Robinson, Titus Burgess, Mike Epps, Chris Rock, and Snoop Dogg, this movie is an absolute delight and one I found myself smiling through from start to finish. But besides Murphy, there are two other performances that deserve every bit of awards praise. Coming from Wesley Snipes as the quirky auteur, Durville Martin, and Divine Joy Randolph as Lady Reed, in a performance that absolutely shines. This is a fun one to take in at the theaters, but it's also bound to be a huge hit once it lands on Netflix later this month. Dolomite is my name is one you're not going to want to miss, and I give it an A-. Also in theaters just in time for Halloween is the animated reboot of the TV classic The Addams Family. With an all-star voice cast featuring Charlize Theron, Oscar Isaac, Nick Kroll, Martin Short, and, in his second movie of this week, Snoop Dogg himself as Cousin It. And it wasn't available in time for this show's deadline, but maybe the buzziest new film of the week will be available on Netflix by the time you're seeing this, and that's the top secret Breaking Bad movie, El Camino, starring Aaron Paul, reprising his role as Jesse Pinkman from the hit TV show, which supposedly picks up right after the events of the Breaking Bad finale. I will definitely have a review of this film up on the website, so I urge you to go check it out. For more detailed reviews of these and other movies, please check me out on Rotten Tomatoes. You can go to the site, search the critics list to find Tom Santilli, and you can scroll through all of my recent and not so recent reviews. Another good way to find my stuff is to follow me on Twitter, at Tom Santilli, or go to the website movieshowplus.com.